thought of no means did my son do this. Way far deeper than what people uh, in the press and the police officers is, is, is dealing with. Nobody's shocked to hear the news that there's more to the story, the very real possibility of a second individual, according to the Chicago Tribune. What is your son's alibi for the time of the shooting? My son's alibi was with one of his girlfriends. I asked the police so that my son could talk to his sister because they real close. She, If he did have something to do with it, maybe she can get it out of him to help with the investigation. They refused in my child to talk to their brother. You I'm think sorry. You did have something to do with it? No, no. I don't want to cuss, but no. As we go to air police swarming the area near where little seven-year-old Julian's body was found. This is the nephew of Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson. A weapon has been found in a vacant lot near where the body was recovered. I want to go back to Dr. Michael Arnell and Donald Schweitzer. First to you, Schweitzer, former detective with Santa Ana PD. I take issue with something that you just said. I am talking about a ballistics comparison between a bullet and a gun found in the vacant lot. And you are telling me that you can get striation marks off of a casing? I've never seen it done, and I'd like to know, have you ever seen it done? I, I've never seen that done, and I hope I didn't say that. Uh, what I meant is that you can get some identifying information off of a casing, so it is helpful in the identification of the gun. Possibly, maybe a fingerprint, but the caliber, there are a million thirty-eight caliber handguns in Chicago. How's that going to help me? Well, if we know that the gun, for example, was a, a 45 caliber uh, gun, yeah. uh, and you've got 45 caliber casings uh, in the vehicle, that's some evidence that it was, uh, you know, the same gun. And then you can look at the pin mark from the uh, the pin the, mark. The weapon. And have you ever, ever seen one pin mark? Absolutely distinguished from another pin mark on a casing ever. No, I haven't. Uh, we're taking your calls out to Don in Ohio. Hi, Don. Hello. Hi, dear. What's your question? Yes, I hate to ask this question, but I've never heard where the sister was when all this was going on. Mm. Uh, you know what? In cases like these, everybody's a suspect and nobody's a suspect. To Susan Rose, Jensen, and correspondent, let's just clarify where the sister was.